All right, so uh, I think you got 12 feet in the air when you had to when you oh. tipped that pass uh, down there. What were you seeing on that play? Uh, I was just playing deep middle. Uh, I saw the quarterback rolled out, and I saw there was two threats that uh, stopped short. I just see VZ just running by himself, and I'm like, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> so I just started running and running, and I see it, I'm either I had to hit VZ or I had to go get the ball, and I wanted the ball. But I wanted to one-hand it, but I was just like, just get the ball, make sure he doesn't catch it. And so I just went up and got it. Yeah, the fingertips on it. Yeah. That's all that mattered. Yeah, yeah, as long as he didn't catch it, so it's fine. How do you think, uh, it, what are your kind of first reviews of, of being in full pads? Uh, it was competitive, real competitive. Everybody was trying to play fast, play physical. I think we had some mental mistakes from uh, some of the young guys uh, that we, everybody has to pick up and uh, just tune in to what's going on. Uh, we were trying to get a game atmosphere. So it was real good to have that. Um, first unit, I felt we did good. We played solid. Uh, we still had some mental breakdowns. And just uh, wrapping up and tackling is just the main thing. With a unit uh, like yours, and it's, it's, it is very young. Is that something you, you're, you worry about, that you got to kind of uh, nip, you know, the mental mistakes, got to nip that in the bud early? And uh, It's not something to worry about because it comes with time. Uh, I'm just, we have just uh, enough time in camp. I feel that we can get everything on. It just takes progression. It just takes uh, watching film and learning and tuning in for everybody to get on one page. Losing five guys. days five days in, how do you feel about the state of the defense, just how much you guys have progressed? I feel like we're probably the most athletic defense we've had in a long time. Um, I feel confident in our linebackers. I feel confident in our defensive backs, uh, our nickels. We have some uh, veteran guys still on the field that have been here uh, through the rough times and that are here to uh, – like encourage these young guys to go out there. And we have some hungry guys on defense, so I'm not really worried too much. Given the fact that you, you lo losing a guy like Pyatt, you lose Coleman. I mean, you lose on you know McClure mm -hmm. graduates. You guys lost a lot of uh, a lot of experience from last year. How do you kind of you kind of push through that? Uh, just next man up. Just got to step up. Just got to do your part. You just got to be ready. That's what this camp is for. Just getting everybody ready, getting everybody in tune. Can't worry about what happened in the past. We got to focus on the present and the future. What did you learn most from, from the guys that, uh, that have departed? Uh, just study film. Just be prepared. Because you never know when your, your number's going to be called. You never know what's going to happen. So you always have to be prepared. Uh, just play physical. Try to play as dominant as possible. And so let's just try to take those and pass it on to the younger guys, too. Especially from McClure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number yeah, 21. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, you know. Just trying to just mentally prepare like Steph did, because he was really good at that. So just trying to be as mentally prepared as possible. Is that why you're wearing 21 this year? Did Steph uh, will you know, it to you? Uh, he didn't really, he, he was there. Uh, I really like Sean Taylor, so he was a big part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, he was one of my favorite. But just the opportunity just to wear 21. I know uh, the guy before me, Steph, he was a big part of uh, like making this number uh, stand out. So, you know, I just wanted to where you know honor him in, in in some sense yeah of course you know a little bit of uh honor in that